Hi everyone, welcome to Reno Physiology. We are continuing with uh, Reno Physiology. In this uh, lecture, we are looking at uh, measurement of renal plasma flow and renal blood flow. There are two things here, renal plasma flow and renal blood flow. You should take note of that. Renal plasma flow and renal blood flow. Okay. Now, renal plasma flow also called RPF, can be estimated from the clearance of an organic acid called amino hippuric acid. You remember what clearance is? So you can use para amino hippuric acid to estimate the renal plasma flow. That is the amount of plasma flowing to the kidneys. That's what it means. And renal blood flow is calculated from the renal plasma flow and the use of hematocrit. Okay, because the relationship between blood and plasma is as follows. Uh, plasma over blood, they should give you a ratio of what? What's a, per what's a percentage of uh, plasma is blood? It is about 55%. Okay, meaning that 45% are formed elements, which we call hematocrit. So if we can know the plasma flow, we can easily calculate the renal blood flow using this relationship. Okay, so plasma flow can be, used, can be calculated using paraamino epuric acid, but don't confuse with inulin. We said inulin can be used to calculate what? GFR. Okay. Now, measurement of renal plasma flow, it's a simple concept which is obtained from what we call the fixed principle. It's obtained from a principle called the fixed principle. If you remember, the fixed principle states that the amount of substance entering an organ equals the amount of the substance leaving the organ. Okay? Let me repeat. The fixed principle states that the amount of substance entering an organ equals the amount of substance leaving the organ, assuming that the substance is neither synthesized nor degraded by the organ. Okay? So we can use the fixed principle to calculate the, um, the renal plasma flow. Okay, so we can also say it uh, as follows. The, the fixed principle states that the amount of substance entering the kidneys via the renal artery, okay, equals the amount of substance leaving the kidney via the renal vein plus the amount of excreted in urine. If you think about it, this statement is very correct. The amount of substance entering the kidneys via the renal artery, it is equal to the amount of substance leaving the kidneys via the renal vein, plus the amount of substance uh, excreted in urine. So, PAH, which is called paraamino hippuric acid, is the substance used to measure renal plasma flow. So, using this fixed principle, we can come up with the following equation. Okay. Renal plasma flow is equal to U, which is the the concentration of PAH in urine times the flow rate over the difference in concentration of PAH in the renal arteries and the concentration of PAH in the renal vein. That is the fixed principle. So just think about this equation critically. It makes sense. This equation can also be used to calculate cardiac output. 
In this case, the substance we'll be using is, instead of PAH, we'll be measuring the concentration of oxygen. Okay. We'll be using the concentration of oxygen. So, this is the fixed principle. Now, why, what makes fixed principle important? Okay. Fit, uh, what makes, I mean, what makes the PAH used to measure the renal plasma flow? PAH is an induced substance. One, PAH is neither metabolized nor synthesized by the kidneys. Okay? So, the amount of PAH that enters the kidneys will be the same amount that comes out. Number two, PAH does not alter renal plasma flow. Does not does not, doesn't cause vasoconstriction, doesn't cause vasodilation. The other importance of PAH, why it's an ideal marker for, uh, for renal plasma flow, is that the kidneys extract most of the PAH from the renal arterial blood by a combination of filtration and secretion. As a result, almost all the PAH entering the kidneys the, the renal artery is excreted in urine, leaving very little in the renal vein. Since the renal vein concentration of PAH is almost zero, the denominator of, the previous, of this equation, that is, uh, that is the, the denominator, this, this is the denominator, of the, is, is large and therefore can be measured accurately. Okay, so usually this is Z, zero. Okay, the other importance why uh, PAH is used to measure uh, renal plasma flow is that no organ other than the kidney extracts the PAH, okay? So the pH concentration in the renal artery is equal to the pH concentration in any peripheral vein. And peripheral venous blood can be sampled easily, whereas renal arterial blood can not. So these are some of the four characteristics why pH is an ideal uh, marker for measuring renal plasma flow, using the principle of fix. Okay. Now, once we measure renal plasma flow, it's easy to measure renal blood flow using hematocrit. Again, when you think very uh, carefully, renal blood flow is equal to renal plasma flow over one minus hematocrit, which is the 55%. One can also be 100. 100 minus 55. I mean, minus 45. It gives you 55. Plus eh, renal plasma flow. So I can just write it nicely like this. Renal blood flow is equal to renal plasma flow over 0 0.55. Okay. So, the renal uh, blood flow is the renal plasma flow divided by 1 minus the hematocrit. Where hematocrit, as we know, is the fraction of blood volume that is occupied by red blood cells. And 1 minus hematocrit is the fraction of blood volume that is occupied by what? By plasma. So, for you to understand this, let's look at this equation. Uh, this is the equation, or I mean this is a problem. A man with a urine flow rate of 1 mL per minute has a plasma concentration of PAH of 1 mg per cent. A urine concentration of PAH is 600 mg per cent and a hematocrit of 0 0.45. What is his renal blood flow? So you just use the same formula. Now, you just have to be very careful with the way you, you incorporate these formulas. If you make a mistake, you get a wrong answer. 
Okay. So this is the answer. Effective renal blood flow is equal to clearance of what? Effective renal plasma flow is equal to the clearance of PAH. So we know the formula for clearance of PAH is this. And then we have 600 mils per minute. Now, effective renal blood flow is equal to effective renal plasma flow over one minus hematocrit. And then you incorporate your, your values, and then you are going to find 1,091 mils per minute, which is true. Actually, about 1,200 mils of blood flows to the kidneys per minute. This is 25% of the cardiac output. Okay. We know the cardiac output is the amount of volume of blood pumped by each ventricle per minute. So about 25% of that cardiac output goes to the kidneys. Okay, so that's how you use the, this equation to calculate uh, uh, PAH. I mean, that's how you use this equation to calculate renal blood flow and renal plasma flow. Okay, thank you very much.